Well, 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 look who I got with me today. We did go and buy the Xmart radius mower. We're going to go pick it up today and use it. It's uh, what it is. We had a 48 inch gate. And I said, I want something I can get in these, these yards, these gated yards. And uh, so almost all the gates are 48 inches, but you can't get a 48 inch commercial mower in there. So I didn't want to go as low as a 36. So I decided to go with the Xmart radius. I don't remember if it's a 46 or a 44. 44. Okay, it's 44 inches. So we've got four little bitty yards right together that we mow and this way Mariah can go hit them all with this small mower we probably won't use it for more than 10 yards a week but it'll be nice to have even as a backup if we have to have it all right we're here at the commercial cutting equipment I guess that's all their fixers and their ones they're working on. They got a couple of X-Marts up there for sale. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind having that one. I don't know if it go on my trailer. The 96 inch. Those are forty thousand dollars. Don't want that. Sounds like the little mower is making its debut. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We've got her, her machine. The reason we did not get a stand on is because Mariah's had operation on her meniscus and she's afraid it might affect her mowing. And I agree. I didn't want Mariah being on her legs. I didn't want her being having to weed eat. So I bought this small mower for her to get these small yards done and I won't have to worry about her.
There is really an advantage of having a smaller mower. Stuff we always get caught up in. People see us walking, people see us driving down the road, and they don't want to get a ticket or something. Now, this grass was high, but I'm thinking this grass might be a little higher. Look. My goodness, it's like a jungle back here. Look at this. Well, this is not gonna be beautiful. For darn sure. Look at that. How many new yards did we pick up today? Three. Three new yards. So far. So far. But I think we're at capacity. I don't really want to mow much more because we're because I'm concerned. You know that's fifty three yards this week. I think is meant. Oh, I don't know. Plus our. You know, other work we have to do. That other work, you're going to have to wait. Okay. <laughs> Mariah will be using the Christine Rose on this one. The new mower we just bought today. And the reason is, now we got a, <laughs> we got a few big yards to mow. But we got to adjust our schedule now where that, that mower that she's on now only goes out when we're mowing little yards. And when I won't be mowing at all, this yard here is probably about two acres, so we both have to mow with it. Thursday. I don't know if I ever said what the date was today. June the 25th at 6.44. Then we're going to pick something up at Osaka's for dinner. Neither one of us want to go to the house and have to worry about cooking tonight. Man, we just came from this lady. 
she must be 150. Man, I told her, and when I come there, you know, I keep picking the weeds out of the beds and everything. Eventually, I'll get them all cleaned up. Now, this is our third week. Man, she was so hateful with me tonight. And, I mean, I don't, I don't understand it. She is a mean woman. Now, I've had mean customers in the past. In fact, I've dealt with three tremendously mean customers. And eventually, I won them over. Two of them fired me three times. And then they called me back because I've always been nice to them and everything, you know. And then this other guy, really strange, he tried to fire me three times. He actually did fire me twice twice and then he apparently these people can't keep nobody and so you know I'm real patient with them I talk softly to them never say anything rude to them and uh, I let them like I told Mariah I'm, I'm going to make that lady she don't like me I'm, I'm going to make her fire me But I'm always going to be real kind to her. And I, I kind of look at it as a challenge. I know some people, <coughs> they just say, I ain't putting up with that. And you know, ordinarily, I would understand that. But I'm going to tell you something. If you can win these difficult customers over, once they like you, they like you forever. You can do nothing wrong. Like the last person. Now I've already outlived two of them. But I won them over. And eventually. They just thought I was the best thing since sliced bread. Now the last guy. That I won over. He actually. Good lord. That's a very reckless driver. He's going to hurt somebody. Going through Walmart at 30 miles an hour. Minimum. Anyways. So the last guy I won over. I hated going to that yard. And I still have residuals of hating to go. But he called me the other day. And I... He wanted me to do some work, and I told him, I said, look, I just can't get to that right now. He said, do it at your leisure. I don't want to lose you. And I mowed him yesterday, and he gave me 10 extra bucks. And so this lady here, I don't know how that's going to work out. If she keeps paying, I'll keep putting up with her. But she's one of them people that kind of, you kind of got a sweet talk about 10 minutes every time you go. Now, I don't like that. But I charge her enough. I mean, I'm charging her to, well, it's, I charge her enough to put up with a little bit of stuff from her. I kind of read this into that lady when I been on the yard I actually bid $10 higher than I would anyone else because I kind of thought I just kind of felt it you know what I mean and so we'll see we'll see if we're going to be able to work this out I see Mariah's up there waiting on me so I'm going to go pick her up so I got two different types of bangs Champagne, one that says champagne, and one that says blue fizzle. Oh, you got new bangs? Uh-huh. Oh, let's introduce them. I haven't tried them, though. Oh, I've bring them out so we can see them. Awesome champagne. Champagne. Let me see. There you go, Elizabeth. And then... Champagne, blue, baby. Blue Raz. Blue Raz. I think we had that one No, before. we had uh, Miami Blue Cola. Raz. Miami Cola. That's jazz. Huh? This one's for Saturday. This one, this one might be for Saturday. Oh yeah, Saturday. 
That's the day you, you, you got, got a drink can of paint. Put it back there in my cooler. Oh, long day. 13 yards. That's seven more than you did on your own. I matter. I matter. I matter. We are going home. It is 7-12. We should be at the house within 15 minutes, so we're going to say our goodbyes. Oh. Right? you ready to sing our song? Happy trails to you, happy trails to you. I say, say happy trails, Trapdale, happy trails to you. <laughs>